now the latest on October 21st around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Multiple cyclones remain active today. Typhoon Rualoi, which is intensifying markedly as it approaches the Mariana Islands. Neoguri weakening off the coast of Japan. And Priscilla that formed and is dying uh, all, in the, in, all in the course of 24 hours. Day 294 of the year, day 142 of the Atlantic hurricane season. No systems active now and nothing on the horizon just yet. Day 159 in the Eastern Pacific, Priscilla now down to a depression after making landfall in Mexico earlier today. In the Western Pacific, Neoguri and Bualoi are both active and Invest 97A, uh, picking up a bit of pace in the Arabian Sea. No systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time though, it's all quiet here. Tonight's leading story, quite obviously the typhoon, Typhoon Bualoi, winds of 90 miles per hour, pressure of 974 millibars on our latest estimates, 192 miles from Saipan where typhoon warnings are now in effect, 14 north, 148.4 east, expected to intensify as it moves through the Mariana Islands, all of which could receive tropical storm conditions at least. And then it will remain a significant storm as it moves through the Japanese Agasawara Islands and Iwo Jima, possibly a Category 3, maybe even reaching a Category 4 peak, which hasn't been indicated on that graphic, but it certainly is a possibility, depending on how this intensification phase goes. It is underway right now. I think what will prevent this storm from reaching the very highest intensities is literally the last storm that we had, Hagabis, which took a very similar track. And as such, the uh, ocean heat content and the sea surface temperatures are much lower for this storm than it was for that one. Obviously, as we get later in the season, those temperatures are starting to decline too. Wind shear, though, isn't looking bad at all. North Atlantic wide shot, this is how it's looking. Some convection way up north there in the northeast Atlantic, which is interesting. Uh, down towards the southeast as well, a few flare-ups, but elsewhere it's looking very quiet across the basin, really. Um, what's left of Nestor, which is pushing on through the outer banks of North Carolina now. Very little left of that system. Uh, and this is the Gulf of Mexico, uh, how that's been progressing today looking fairly quiet now. The Eastern Pacific, you can clearly see on the right hand side there Priscilla which is still a tropical depression, uh, still got that convection uh, which could be delivering large amounts of rainfall, could locally cause flooding and landslides. Out over the Central Pacific, not too much going on. You can still see a swirl, I think that's the remnants of Octave, uh, not totally sure on that. Uh, and in the Western Pacific you can see there Neoguri, rather large, pushing through Japan now, could be a big rain there again and a rather small uh, Bualoi which is moving towards the Mariana Islands uh, certainly when you compare with other storms it is a pretty small one at the moment a very tiny wind field and that's expected to remain the case for pretty much its whole duration southern hemisphere uh, warming up um, really uh, along the equatorial and tropical zones there just general flare-ups really not too much going on the Indian Ocean a point of interest or two invest 97 a which is over the central part of the um, Arabian Sea unfortunate that the last frame is cut off there but that is Gathering a little bit of momentum, but we'll wait and see whether that gets a designation. Sea surface temperatures, the eastern Pacific, fairly warm, 29, 30 degrees Celsius where Priscilla is, just this moved over land, that's why it's weakening. The northern part of the Gulf of Mexico really cooling down this week, but the uh, southern Gulf and the western Caribbean remaining very warm, and indeed the waters off the Greater Antilles. Um, over now into the Indian Ocean, temperatures 29 or 30 degrees Celsius, Bay of Bengal very warm indeed, especially out over the open seas, and over in the Western Pacific as well, fairly warm here, 29 to 30 degrees Celsius, but it will, um, you know, Bualoi will enter that cool pool uh, pretty soon after passing through the Mariana Islands. So in my opinion, the best chance of this storm to reach Category 4 will be in the next 36 hours, which takes it just past Saipan. So uh, a day and a half, I would say, is the best window for this storm to gather momentum. And it certainly is doing so as we look at the satellite imagery and ice starting to emerge. 90 miles per hour might be a little bit conservative on this. Um, so 
certainly keeping our eyes on this very closely. Small systems can intensify rapidly um, as it moves on there. Uh, Neoguri, uh, not much to say about this. Transitioning into a post-tropical cyclone gradually here, losing its intensity down to about 70 mile per hour winds from its category 3 peak on our analysis yesterday uh, before last night's tropical weather bulletin. Uh, that one will be striking Japan with gale force winds widespread potentially and of course significant amounts of rain. And finally on the floater imagery charts tonight is Priscilla uh, along the western coast of Mexico quite clearly to see there, fairly broad actually, um, convection still quite prominent mainly along the coastal regions there which could be causing some significant issues maybe well um, they tend to do especially late season activity in Mexico potential for flooding and for landslides but the tropical storm risk the wind risk is gone the next name on the Atlantic naming list will be Olga in the eastern Pacific coming up is Raymond in the central Pacific the next name is Hone We've had 77 storms so far in the world this year on day 294. In the Western Pacific, the next name on the list now is Matmo. And in the North Indian Ocean, we're still looking out for Kiyar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter under the same name. Um, you can find us on there and send us a message on any of those platforms. That's all for now. We'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.